stick around because today we're going to talk about how to start your stories right in the middle of the action. By the way, my name is Brandon McNulty. I'm the author of Bad Parts, also the author of Entry Wounds, and welcome to my writing channel. One of my subscribers requested a video on the subject of in medias race. And what this means is that you start a story in the middle of the action, in the middle of things, or in the midst of the plot, or however you want to think of it. But we're going to talk about this today, and I want to get into it. I want to explain what in medias race does what the two types of immediate race are, and also the advantages and disadvantages of using it. But let's start off by talking about what immediate race does for your stories. And the first thing it does, it opens up your story with an important or pivotal scene that has high stakes. And this can be an attention grabber right from the start. Whenever you start a story with action, things are happening. People are taking action, they're trying to solve problems, they're making difficult decisions, and this is much more intense than when you traditionally start a story by just introducing characters in their everyday lives and showing them in everyday situations, having everyday conversations, things like that. Another thing In Medias Race does, it skips the typical exposition that we just talked about. All those everyday occurrences and your characters' regular lives, we skip all that, we skip the boring parts, we get right into the action, there's no intro introductions to the characters, there's no introductions to the story world, we're right in the middle of things. One other thing to keep in mind within Medias Race is that the audience doesn't get the full context of what's going on. They're simply dropped into a scenario where things are happening and they have to wait for the backstory. Now if you do things well, if you start off one of these in Medias Race stories well, your audience will actually want that backstory. So this can be a huge advantage for you later on when the audience is wondering, well, geez, I wonder, you know, what was going on in, the, in that battle scene? the beginning, uh, you know, who are these characters, or what were they trying to accomplish, or, you know, why are they fighting? Those kind of questions might pop into your audience's heads, and then when the backstory does come, they're interested in it. Now let's talk about the two types of in medias race, and they are linear and non-linear. When we're talking about linear, we're talking about a straightforward story, there are no time jumps. Great example of this would be the original Star Wars movie where right off the bat we start in the middle of things but the story continues forward at all times. There are no flashbacks, there are no jumping around in time, it's just strictly straightforward. Another example of this would be Godfather Part 1. This story opens up with a character requesting that the Godfather kill someone. And we don't know who the Godfather is just yet. We don't know much about Vito Corleone. We're simply dropped into this high-stakes scene where a character wants revenge on someone and the Godfather has to decide whether or not he's going to dole out that revenge. Now, when it comes to non-linear in medias race, this is when you have time jumps. This is when you have flashbacks or flash forwards or other kinds of time gimmicks going on in your story. A lot of TV shows use the non-linear technique these days. Breaking Bad is a great example of this. In the very first episode, very first scene, we see Walter White driving around in his underwear. Then he ends up leaving a message for his family. It's this desperate message about how he's afraid he's never going to see them again. And then he finally ends the scene by pointing a gun in the direction of approaching sirens. This gets the audience wondering, wow, how did this guy get to this point? And they want to know about his backstory. They want to know how he got here. And from there, after this scene, the episode jumps back in time to show just that. Okay, now before we wrap things up, I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of using in media's race. And it's something to keep in mind. It's not always going to work for every story. Some stories are better off with the traditional opening. You need to figure out what works best for the story you're telling. Now, some advantages. First of all, you can hook the audience right off the bat. You can start your story with energy, emotion, stakes, and intrigue. And that can really get your audience on board and get them invested in the story from the start. A second advantage is that you get to skip the boring introductions. We already talked about this a little bit. Instead of showing characters in their everyday lives, we get to show things in the middle of some high stakes action. Another advantage is that you give the audience reasons to like your characters right off the bat, especially if your characters are taking action or making tough choices. Audiences love to see people take action. Yet another advantage is that when you start in the middle of things, you raise questions. You get the audience curious about the story world and the characters. And then one final advantage is that you can establish genre right up front. And this works with certain stories, like if you have a three thriller and you start off right in the middle of things, it sends the message that this is going to be a fast-paced story. Now for some disadvantages, the first one we already talked about this, you have to work in your backstory later on. If you start fast, eventually you're going to have to slow down and explain, you know, what's going on in this story world, who these characters are. Sometimes that can work against you, especially if the audience is 
it's like, oh, wow, that opening scene was great. And then you spend, you know, several chapters just slowing things down and then the audience starts to get a little antsy. They're like, man, I want to go back to that same tension from the opening scene. Another disadvantage is that you may confuse the audience with these types of openings, especially if you're doing time jumps, the audience may not be able to keep up or they may lose track of what period of time it is or, or where we are on the timeline or whatever the issue may be. And then another disadvantage is that the audience may not care about your characters without the proper context. Remember that context is what creates meaning. So you have to work in some context when you do start in Medius Race. And one other thing I want to point out in regards to this is that action-packed openers often fall flat in books. And that's because action works best on screen where it can be stylish, where people can see it and be dazzled by it. But in books, if you're just going word by word, explaining all kinds of crazy things going on, the audience might get a little restless if they don't have a character to get invested in. And then one final disadvantage is that sometimes when you start with non-linear in Medius Race, especially if you have like a flash forward and then you go back in time to show how the characters got there, sometimes you can spoil events and you can rob the story of suspense. One example of this would be the book It by Stephen King. I know a lot of people love this book, but one problem that I had with it was that it opens up by showing all the main characters as adults, and then it goes back in time to show them as children. And we spend a lot of time with them as children. And when Whenever the kids are in danger, like mortal danger, I know that they're not going to die because I've already seen them live into adulthood. So keep that in mind. If you do start your story at a certain point and then you jump back in time, the audience is going to know what happens in the future. So if you're trying to push life and death stakes on them, they might not feel the full impact or the full suspense. So I hope this helps. Question of the day, was your favorite story that begins in the middle of the action? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, pick up a copy of one of my novels. Bad Parts is great if you like small town horror. It's all about people trading away their body parts to get healthy again. And if you like thrillers, check out Entry Wounds. It's about a guy who picks up a haunted gun and he cannot put it down until he kills six people with it. Also, be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Share this video with a friend. And as always, remember to keep on writing.